Hey, Bible lovers. So in this video, I asked John and Daniel what their favorite leathers to work with were. So check it out. What are your favorite leathers to work with? Ooh. We'll start with John, since we started with Daniel the last time. All right. Daniel keeps stealing all the cool ideas. I think we think the same. Mm -hmm. So I get to start. And I, I didn't bring... Uh, actual leather, but I do have a Bible that, that is combined in my two favorite leathers. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that. Everybody knows I'm a big fan of shark skin and all the colors. I love the shark skin original from Rocky Mountain Leather Company uh, or Leather Supply, I think is what they're called. And my favorite goat skin, depending on the color, is Sokoto. It's, uh, it's relatively pricey and you know, it kind of shrinks up and gets wavy and it's hard to work with. You can't get much more than a Bible out of it. That's why I have a lot of three pieces that are that have a, a little bit of Sokoto incorporated. Uh, but the Navy and the Mocha Sokoto are my two favorite goat skins by far. Um, and then the shark skin man, just in any color, any way that I can that I can incorporate that winds up absolutely beautiful. Uh, and it will will wind up being the best smelling Bible I think by a long shot. I love working with other leathers that are popular. I love the Badalassie leathers. Everybody does a lot of that. It's probably the most cost efficient way we can do things that are popular, but uh, those are my two favorite leathers. It's the, the shark skin and the Sokoto. The shark skin is pretty nice. So Daniel, what about yourself? What's your favorite leather to work with? Yeah, I've got, <clears throat> I've got two of my, my personal Bibles here and they are one is this one right here, it is out of Marine Liege Maine goat skin. And um, the grain is nothing incredible. I don't know if you can see the detail in it, but um, yep, it's got a pebbly grain to it. And I found after I actually did I, the one that um, one that Tim has, it's out of it's out of Liege Maine, Black Liege Maine. I found after a while that if you order, this was by mistake also, I ordered a thicker hide of it. So I ordered it without any skiving and it feels so much better. Like it's, it's very, very soft and it's very, very, it doesn't, the yap doesn't train as good, but I've learned to overlook that <laughs> just for the, you know, the feel of it. Uh, it's, it's just super soft, very grippy. And um, <clears throat> one of my friends, a guy named David Duncan, uh, I did one for him in this and he's like when i when i preach or teach my hands tend to sweat and so this leather right here it soaks it this soaks it right up and it uh and it's really really grippy nice. so uh so yeah this is this is a favorite for sure um it's definitely it's kind of like Sakoto. it's more on the pricey side um but it is it's hard to beat uh, if you're just looking for a nice consistent grain and then i've got also uh, the battle Lassie cowhide pull up cowhide yeah favorite as well i've got um had some cognac uh a big old big old stash of that i've, I've finally whittled it down uh these last few orders but i He's really the reason it's always sold out yeah that's why that's why it's <laughs> uh but i love the walnut the walnut uh cowhide is probably my favorite color of the, the battle ice nice. so nice. anyways that was a long-winded answer but um so, a couple of my so favorites battle Assy walnut yeah, the pull up cowhide, and then the leech main, leech main goat skin. Yeah, and, and then there. John's is pretty much any color shark skin. I you know. shark on everything because it's expensive, and you wind up with little scraps that you can still fit on a three piece, and I don't want to waste it. Right. So, but it is my personal favorite. Nice bookmark. bookmark. Look at this bookmark. There you What's go. That? That's a shark skin? Uh, oh yeah, shark skin bookmark. Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. Anything, See, anything out of it. I need, I need to put my wife and daughters to work making stuff like that because that would wind up going in the trash for me. Well, my, my wife is is very resourceful with my uh, my uh, scraps and stuff. She started making earrings and um, Good. really does awesome stuff. She makes arrowhead shaped earrings and mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're pretty amazing. Nice. So, are are you selling those or is it just something? Yeah, Carly. She is selling those. So she has a, I believe she has an Etsy shop and she can be found on her website, Carly Arrowwood Music. And you can check those out. They're very, very cool. So you heard that. You can get custom yeah. leftovers. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> custom leftovers. Really cool stuff. Oh, they're great. They're awesome. Made really cool stuff that mm -hmm. 
You can buy from his wife's website, Carly Arrowwood Music. Is that a dot com? Yep, it is. There you go. Check it out. So there you have it. John likes to walk on the wild side with the exotics and the shark skin and just about any color. And then Daniel really likes to work with the pull-up cowhide, especially those in the cognac family and kind of that color family. They really are sharp. Each one has their own special. The tool work that you can do on the cowhide is just extraordinarily because the heat kind of changes the color and just really gives it that really rustic look. So you can't go wrong with any of these guys, and I highly suggest that you work with them. So there you have it. Keep calm. Jesus on.